what's going on what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of just my opinion i really do appreciate it guys we are talking blue beetle yes the trailer reaction or trailer breakdown let's call it a trailer breakdown and not a reaction the reason why i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did already see the trailer one time but i did not get a chance to talk about it and so that's what we're going to do but of course we're going to watch the trailer first or rewatch it here we go you finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what uh, everything right now feels so out of reach you always land on your feet bro you're hyena they don't get out much <laughs> I, 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 I a lot the first time I saw this trailer, I thought they were saying Hyman, Hyman. I'm like, what? I just want to rap. Jenny? I just want to rap. Guard, I bet you life, but do not open it. You went in to get a shops, and all you brought back was a hamburger? Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. It's on your back! Get it off! Get it on! Hey, man. What the? You host acquired. Who said that? It's okay, it's gonna be okay. You gotta be scary as hell, man. Serious question: If you had a chance to go to space, would you really? Would you do it? Would you do it? Let me know. Re-entry systems ready. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. What is going on? I just want to it's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world-destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. The Scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. That low you feel for your family makes you weak. I just want to rap. With a blue beetle mobile, and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. Yeah, I don't remember that. Whatever you can imagine, I this can part is create. badass. Let's party. Oh, yeah. Nice choice. He had an art hitting them poses and stances. I know I would be doing the same thing. <laughs> It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just want to rap. I know some people got mad at that comment right there. All right, so this does look fine. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It does. Uh, but let's keep talking about this. Only thing I know about Blue, blah, blah, blah. only thing I know about Blue Beetle is from the DC animated show Young Justice. Now, Young Justice came out a long time ago. Uh, years ago and i was in i was really into the first season tough saw the second season and that's when they did introduce blue beetle and i was not really a fan of the character season two of young justice just wasn't as good as season one to me um i don't know if that was just because of the writing or because i just didn't really care for blue beetle so when they first announced this property i was like huh, okay you know whatever however we do have the actor that was in Cobra Kai who is fulfilling the titular role. And I like him a lot. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I butcher it every time. Uh, I'm going to try my best, though. I thought I just had it pulled up here. Uh, but bear with me. Two seconds. Really? Why don't you want to work? Okay, we're going to copy that paste it there we're gonna put an x and paste there we go so we got our boy right here hopefully i get the pronunciation right is it jolo meriwaduena jolo or jolo meriwaduena uh he was in like i said cobra kai 
I love as Miguel. I love this character in Cobra Kai. This is one of the only reasons why I'm really interested in this property because I liked him in Cobra Kai. And so hopefully I will like him in uh, Blue Beetle as well. Now, there's also some other actors uh, in this film as well uh, that I do like. Let me go ahead and pull them up right there. Everybody does know uh, George Lopez. Uh, where is he at? I like George Lopez. Uh, now, when it comes to George Lopez, I'm not saying that I'm like a diehard fan of Joe, uh, of, of Joe, of George Lopez. I'm not saying like every time, oh, Joe Lopez thing finna come out. I got to get my tickets now. I'm not saying that. However, every time I do see Joe Lopez, uh, jo oh, I keep saying Joe, George Lopez, he's entertaining to me. He's he's cool. He's entertaining. He makes me laugh. So I have nothing against him. And so, hey, that's cool right there. Also, shout out to the Hispanic community, the brown community. I'm sure you guys want superheroes as much as you possibly can. Me personally, I think that's just smart to spread it to all the different colors and groups and cultures around the world. You know, if you're wanting to get the highest worldwide box office that, you know, that does make sense. However, that doesn't always work because you had that with in Marvel with the Eternals. You had every you had a, a good amount of men, a good amount of women. You had a good amount of blacks, whites, reds, yellows, browns, and that movie didn't do the best. Now, it was released during the pandemic, I think, or I forgot the release schedule. And, you know, people didn't really care for that film too much and it didn't make that much money. But, you know, I am uh, I, I am happy about this. Now, going back to the trailer, though, um, one thing that I did kind of just find silly is like, OK, you have this alien scare up thing and the lady's trying to get rid of it and she just gives it to a random person in a hamburger box of course it could make sense it could have a valid reason and that was the only option that she had you know um you know to get rid of it or hide it from the bad guy for nefarious reasons but we're just gonna have to see uh but that was just a little silly to me but hyman hyman actually what is his name in this i know it's not hyman it, it can't be uh, uh okay jamie okay that's what it says on imdb uh but I mean, this looks good. Again, I don't know if this is going to ha deal with, um, you know, the the new DC, uh, the new DCU by James Gunn and uh, and Peter Safran, you know, or this has nothing to do with a new universe. But this does look cool. Now, shout out to one to take Big Dog. I was hitting him up the other day, like bro, and I hit him up more than once, like bro. I don't really understand the difference between cyborg and blue beetle both of them are characters that are taken over by some type of alien technology they can fly they can transform you know enhance strength and they can hack stuff and he was able to break it down to me as well he actually was nice enough to send me a nice chart or breakdown of the of the powers and abilities let me go ahead and share that with you guys right now the blue beetle scarab again shout out to one take big dog for sharing this with me uh let's read this um blue beetle scar scarab um ka was it kajida real name a reach okay a reach infiltrator scarab now from young justice i know that the reach is i think some alien race or some alien civilization uh the reach or a okay yeah there we go right there <laughs> the reach are a civilization of alien conquerors who take over planets for profit uh okay so real name okay this is i, I guess uh kajida is the real name of the scarab the host jamie reyes that's who our titular character is playing um jolo meriduena is the current host the scarab can and will use its powers of its own accord. Jamie, however, can override the scarab if need be. Powers, flight, metamorphosis, superhuman durability, enhanced senses. What does that say? Multi, multilingualism? What the hell is that? Is that a fancy way of saying that you can... Hold on, more. Hold on, let me. Oh, I gotta look this up. The hell is multi? 
Somebody probably beating me up right now in the, in the uh, comments. Brandon, you don't remember learning that in the third grade? Gosh. I hate it when black people don't take their channel seriously. Uh, multilingualism can be defined as the ability of societies, institutions, groups, and individuals to engage on a regular basis with more than one language in their day-to-day -day lives. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, superhuman strength. Uh, mechnokinesis. Okay, weaponry, sound manipulation, pyrokinesis, or yeah, pyrokinesis, armor reconfiguration, energy blaster, sword and blades, wing shields, graphene hook and claws. Yeah, he he can whoop anybody. Green Lantern Corps. The Scarab sees the Green Lantern Corps as the enemy. Oh, urging Jamie to kill them. Wow, I did not know that part. I did not know that part. And so I'm going to check it out. Uh, I, I mean, hey, it's different. I like the a actor, Jolo, and I like George Lopez. And I do like this part right here with the sword. Yeah, he, he, uh, because this is me. This is my personality. I would be doing all this, even if I'm not going to fight nobody. If I'm just chilling in the crib and my boxer shorts and I can do this. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm hitting all types. So I'm pulling out the camera, been uploading this on TikTok. Yeah, run up. Who got beef? You know? I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. So, no, but it, it looks good, though. It looks good, and I uh, hope it's good. So, you guys let me know what you think. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. I'm curious to know. And subscribe to my channel, okay? Why? What do you get? You get movie reviews, spoiler movie reviews, series reviews, a weekly moving this roundup show. Snowfall Season 6, Power Book 2 Ghosts Season 3, Bel Air Season 2 trailer reactions and some interviews. I mean, you're not going to lose if you subscribe. But guys, again, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Before you go, don't forget that I'm B. Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.